Hey guys, I'll talk about Nash V Trigger 2 in this video, the best ways to activate it, how you should use it, and what makes it really strong. First off, there's Scratch Medium Kick. For this one, you need to be able to hit confirm it, but the activation speeds will give you plenty of time for that. Next up is Light Kick Sight, which only on activation allows you to follow up with the Somersault for a combo extension and mix up at the end. If you end the combo with the forward Light Kick, you'll get an air reset. And uh, yeah, you also shouldn't be doing multiple stealth dashes in your activation combo because of the increased scaling on the V trigger activations during combos. His uh, step kick and back fist are also really good uh, moves to activate from. And one thing to note is that the step kick can only be comboed with the initial activation, and the back fist you can combo even with the other stealth dashes. Next up is Medium Kick Sight. Uh, this move, like you can hit it in a lot of ways. For example, you can just end your usual BMB combos with this one instead of Heavy Sight. Or you can just hit it in neutral. Or you can even just do like, you know, Crouch Medium Punch Buffer then into Medium Sight. That's also a pretty common way to hit it. And all of these you can just cancel into the V-Trigger activation for boosting your damage a bit, getting that air reset at the end. So this V trigger is also really good as an anti-fireball move, but only the initial activation. So you can punish even Guile Sonic Booms with this, but once you've activated, so you don't have the V trigger freeze anymore, the follow-up stealth dashes, they won't actually punish the fireballs properly. So next is the Sonic Boom activation, which everyone seems to be doing now, but it's actually a really really bad option to activate from Sonic Boom because like if you follow up with your combo it will do less damage than if you activate from medium kick sight and it actually also burns more of your V gauge and your meter like there's like this comparison here you can see that it's really really not optimal to do this just don't do this so let's talk a bit about uh, how you should spend your V gauge, like your V trigger too, once you've already done the initial activation. Uh, the best way, in my opinion, is not to use it for like mix ups or anything like that, because most of these mix ups that he gets from it, like in neutral, they're not really good, they're easily reactable. But if you keep the V trigger and you just extend your combos with it, then you'll add a lot of damage stun. And you'll also get the forward light kick air reset at the end. It makes it really, really good. You can basically get like 250 damage or even more from your light EX confirms. Which is really, really strong. Like the only other characters who have this much damage currently is like are like Akuma and Zangi with V Trigger 2, I think. And you can also get like really, really high damage combos from you know frame traps or jump ins or whatever, like if you land a big hit then you will easily score like 400 plus damage like even without any meter which is really really good or like from crush counters or anti ex sight I know I've said this before like 5 times but the uh, forward light kick air reset that you get at the end is really really strong you can also get some like left right mix ups if you hit them with a jab after the EX Tragedy Assault, the health drain move. It's basically like a less broken version of Season 2 Ibuki with this speed trigger. Because again, you only have to guess wrong like twice. But I think the mix ups are nowhere near as strong as Ibuki's were. So, yeah, hope it was helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See ya.